back to our YouTube channel. My name is James. And I'm Kimmy. And today is another episode of One Question. Before we start the video, make sure that your subscribe button is clicked and your notification bell is ticked because we upload three videos a week and you never want to miss a video. So the way one question works is the most popular comment down below voted for by you guys gets answered by us next week. So we're answering last week's most popular question. This week's most popular question is by James. Me? James. I love it, James. The question is, who apologizes first when you're mad at each other? Which is normal in a strong relationship. Oh, I think we actually asked this two weeks ago. Yeah. In our situation, communication is key. So we never have full-blown arguments. We're very lucky in the sense of, if ever we disagree with something, we talk about it. And that's how we solve everything. Like we said, again, in the last video we asked this, you either say to each other, do you let this speak? speed bump beat us or do we beat the speed bump and that's just how we look at it any problem arises we talk about it further you dig deeper the more you're going to resolve yeah and the better you're going to be able to fix it so just open communication and i feel like we're very similar in terms of i don't know if you feel this but you do it anyway but i feel this when you get in an argument even if you're not in the wrong or you don't think you're in the wrong you still feel the need to apologize or just yeah. make it better straight away because you can't stand the other person being mad or being resentful at you yeah. or anything like that. I like to talk about things and you like to not leave things unresolved in a bad way. So I think yeah. that's how we work. I talk a lot, you resolve a lot, then you talk a lot and I resolve a lot. And then it's just, that's just how it is. If you're in a position where you are constantly arguing with each other, something's not working. So you need to be able to openly communicate with each other without shouting, without getting annoyed, aggravated, upset, and just have an honest, pure your conversation with each other and that way you'll be able to resolve in my view the majority of the problems that's so true because we've never shouted at each other we've yeah, never no, shouted no. Like, whenever I, can't, I can't raise my voice at you whenever there's disagreement it is just we talk and I'm one of those people sometimes where because I don't like knowing someone's upset at me I don't yeah. like upsetting people when I know I've generally like, upset someone or I think I've upset them I'm not even sure my first instinct is oh, and I just start crying sometimes I don't even notice I sit there and I'm crying I'm like oh my but I generally like, have this thing where I feel really, really bad straight away and I have to get it sorted. Otherwise, it's just non-stop crying for me. So there we go. So that was this week's one question. Yeah. And because we've answered that before, we thought as a little treat, we'd answer something else for you. That you have all been asking, asking yes. so much. This is probably this the most been... popular question when you combine how many times yeah. it's been asked. This has been the second or third most popular question in like four, five, six videos. videos. Yeah. So, like... so if you combine all those likes, this is probably the most popular yeah. question you guys have asked. So the question was, if you're keeping the wedding traditional British wedding and a traditional Kenyan wedding, is James gonna pay a dowry? And the lady who put the comment on like all three videos, she said that she married an American person and in America they do it the same way as us unfortunately, which is the female's family pays for the wedding. In my tradition and in my culture, obviously we pay dowries and stuff like that. And in his tradition, the female pays for the wedding. And we weren't gonna do it in a way where we respect one and not the other. So we said, obviously, if he's paying dowry, my family has to pay for the wedding. And in real sense, saying my family's gonna pay for the wedding, it's gonna end up being like my mum and my brothers paying for the wedding. And we don't want this to be a financial burden for anyone else. This is something we're doing for us. Yeah. So that's something we're happy to contribute financially to and we don't want anyone else to feel like they're burdened by it. So we said, if we respect one, we've got to respect the other. We've got to do both. And if we don't do one, we can't do the other. Other one it's only right and it's only fair but we have agreed that this is something we're happy to do together like financially yeah. contribute to it together yeah it makes a great team anyway so that's no it, problem yeah. or so there you go, yeah, I think that is the, the simplest way to describe it. To honour both traditions, it wouldn't really make sense because say if the dowry was X amount, then the wedding's X amount, and it's like everything that's gone in the dowry just then goes into the wedding. It, it didn't really make sense. We're quite happy with the decision that we've made. Yeah. At the end of the day, that is all that matters. Yeah. Because we're the people that are living it. Not and, that, and we're celebrating our love, our love. So yes. we're happy to contribute to that and make it a very, 
very special day and it's a lifetime commitment so yeah. it's just making it special for ourselves and just doing it ourselves plus it's a good way to find out how well you can both save and work as a team to make it there happen. You go. That's why you need to watch the money management <laughs> videos. Okay, so we hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. The subscribe button is going to be up here. And our previous videos will start to pop across the screen. So make sure you go and check those out. Jammy squad, jammy family, you know what time it is. It, it is time, time to vogue it out. out. Let's go.